A glass of wine can keep the doctor away, according to new scientific research, and just as well, Australians are some of the biggest consumers of wine in the world. Tonight, national wine guru James Halliday names the best wine in Australia and reveals the drops that offer the best value for money. Linda Kincaid has more. Red, white, rosé or sparkling. Our thirst for wine is big business, worth $4.3 billion. Our drop makes a huge splash overseas, shipped to 123 destinations, making us the fourth biggest exporter in the world. A former lawyer turned wine critic, James Halliday can make or break any winery in the country with a pen and paper. You can't be, uh, you know, children's birthday party and give a prize to everyone. That's true. Uh, you, you lose all credibility. Tasting over 4,000 wines a year from 3,000 wineries, his judgment is rated very highly. Now, for the first time, he's named the best wine in all the land at the Australian Wine Companion Awards. How hard was this? Easy. <laughs> Bass Phillip, 2010. This tiny little uh, gold emblem on the front tells you it's reserve. Only 50 dozen made, and it is a quite exquisite Pinot Noir. I have heard that you said you were bewitched by this wine. What makes it so good? Um, because it uh, does all of the peacock's tail opening on the finish of the wine, and the flavours just then it, uh, are incredible. At $380 a bottle, they would want to be. Now, the best winery of the year, Penfold's a very established brand. Why did this win the category? I think you'd almost ask, why hasn't it won it before? It is, in the world scene, it's almost on its own because of the range of wines it has and the quality of the top end. They are exceptional wines. And too exceptional to taste today, but we will taste the next categories. Right. So these are your dark horses and newcomers in the wine industry. Yep. Yep. What made them stand out? Single file. Um, this wine is a beautiful Chardonnay, very much in the modern style. Single file won Dark Horse Winery of the Year. The Yarra Valley's Rob Doylan won Best Newcomer, the Pinot, a standout. What did you score this? Uh, 94. 94 points. So it's up that's, there? That's gold medal standard. Wow. Yeah. And what would this retail for? Pretty close to $30. Australians are some of the biggest consumers of wine in the world. In fact, we drink 11 and a half million glasses each and every day. But when it comes to picking plonk, we are suckers for marketing. Slap a fancy label on a bottle or push up the price and it will sell. Thankfully, James Halliday has done some extra homework for today's night viewers and has named the best value wines under $20. Coming in at number one for the best value Chardonnay, Jameson's Run, which sells for about $8 a bottle. That's less than $2 a glass. Lo and behold, bobbed up with a gold medal at Royal Sydney Wine Show. Alta and Adelaide Hills Sav Blanc scored very highly. A real surprise because a lot of winemaking went into it, very unlike Marlborough, much more texture and flavour. The best value Riesling, the Napstein. 2012 was a wonderful year for Riesling uh, in the Clare Valley. Well, this is one of the standouts. And if you're a fan of reds, have a look at these. To Bill Cab Sav, 2009 is a very good drop for about $15. Balnaves the Blend, also a winner. To Bill I, I love it. It is very traditionally made. And the Mount Langy Billy Billy Shiraz is considered great quality for about $14. What do you like about it? That lovely explosion of, of red and black cherry. Great selling future, if you want to do that. A tip for the cheapest price, look online. And you can find that on our website.